What's up, Abe Kislevitz here, and today I've got some comparison videos to show off the stabilization and horizon leveling features in the new Hero 9 Black. I've got this rig where I have a Hero 8 in wide, a Hero 8 in linear, Hero 9 in linear horizon leveling, a Hero 9 with no stabilization, a max in hero mode, and a Hero 9 with max lens mod. Horizon leveling is a new feature that can be found in the Hero 9 Black under the digital lenses. So there's a new lens called Linear Plus Horizon Leveling, which will level your horizon up to about 45 degrees. I have a very basic rotation test here to show all of the cameras rotating equally a little bit more each time, and you'll see the differences in the one with horizon leveling versus the other one, and where it'll actually stop working. I also have here Max Lens Mod on a Hero 9 and Max in Hero Mode on the far right. And you'll notice those can take an entire 360 degree rotation without ever even moving. Let's focus back in on a couple comparisons that make the most sense, which is Hero 8 in Linear versus Hero 9 in Linear plus Horizon Leveling, being that they have the same field of view. And then we've got Max Lens Mod on the far right, which retains the widest field of view and the full 360 degree horizon lock. For this next test, we're going to be flexing the stabilization capabilities a little bit more. The biggest difference in stabilization between the 8 and the 9 that you're going to notice is going to be in that horizon leveling. You're going to add an entirely new dimension of stabilization to your videos. In these demos, I intentionally move the cameras left and right a little more to exaggerate the effects of horizon leveling. If you look on the bottom left, Hero 8 with Hypersmooth 2.0 and Linear does an incredible job of stabilization, especially when you compare to the no stabilization in the top right. However, when looking at the bottom right, Hypersmooth 3.0 with Horizon Leveling keeps that flat horizon throughout the video. This next demo is a very extreme stabilization test where I'm outright running as fast as I can on the beach and intentionally shaking the cameras. You'll notice there's not a ton of difference between the stabilization in the Hero 8 and the Hero 9, other than the Hero 9 is holding that flat horizon just like you'd probably find when using a gimbal. These next few tests are some very overtly obvious side-by-side -side horizon leveling demos where we show the Hero 8 in linear and the Hero 9 in linear plus horizon leveling again. Now, in practice, I definitely realize you're probably not going to be waving your cameras back and forth as much as we are here, but it is good to see the limits and how far you can push it with keeping that horizon still flat. This will come in handy when you're doing things like ski follow cams where you're not always paying attention to how much the cameras are moving back and forth. Another thing that's awesome is I've never taken a gimbal in the water, so this is definitely new having flat horizons in the water. Next up, we have Hero 9 with Max Lens Mod, which is essentially an ultra-wide-angle lens attachment for Hero 9, which enables Max Super View, Max Hyper Smooth, and 360-degree Horizon Lock. Normally, I'd be pretty bummed about water droplets on the lens, but it's actually not bad for this demo, because it shows how much the camera's rotating back and forth while keeping a level horizon. There's not a huge difference in this next comparison where we have Hero 8 in wide on the left and Hero 9 with Max Lens Mod in Max Super View on the right. What we are getting with Max Lens Mod is that locked horizon and better stabilization overall. The most important factor for me is you get that wider field of view with Max Super View. On any normal GoPro, you lose 10% of your field of view when you activate Hypersmooth. With Max Lens Mod, you gain that 10% back and then some. These last tests are Hypersmooth 3 with horizon leveling on versus no stabilization. And that's just to remind you how much stabilization is doing for your videos.
If you're wondering why I only focused on linear plus horizon leveling for these demos, it's because the differences in other modes are a lot harder to see. That just means that Hero 9 builds on top of an already impressive platform of stabilization from the Hero 8, and adds horizon leveling and boost to all resolutions and frame rates. Alright, I hope you have a better understanding of Hypersmooth 3 with horizon leveling in the Hero 9 Black. I'm Abe Kislevitz, and if you'd like to, subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials coming soon. Okay.